We're on the sky lift here. Gallenberg yes. going up to the bridge. Yes, we are. They say it's the longest pedestrian sky bridge. In the U.S. or I, anywhere? I have no idea. It's nice because it's breezy. Yeah. And this 85 plus degree day, we stopped. We may be stuck here. We're not even at the top of the Ferris wheel. We're not at a Ferris wheel. Oh, okay. I think we're going. Yep, moving again. I'm guessing the more scenic ride would be the ride down where we can see the other direction. Yeah. We're not looking at the hill. Yeah, that's true. It depends which way you like to go. Up or down? So do you think the Skylift weddings are like on the Skylift? Um, I don't think so. Oh, they're just at the top? Yeah. Alright, gotcha. I don't know how they would have it on the lift. I don't know, just making conversation. All righty guys, exit to the rocket. think? Oh, one of the more exciting things we've done on all our travels, I would say. <laughs> one of the more exciting things? Gosh, that makes us sound boring. Well, no. I mean, we do a lot of neat things, but, you know, we I don't think we've ever done anything like this. Oh. Uh, so, yeah. Different, because we don't usually go for things that you pay for extra for. That's true. Or we haven't been lately. Right. You know, you have to, when you travel like we do, you have to kind of pick and choose. Right. And this is something I've seen on TV and I wanted to do. Yeah. And right now it's threatening rain, although it may blow over, but they... Yeah, a little misty. I think it's going to blow by. Yeah, they're not letting... I mean, it's already anybody, clear that way. Yeah, they're not letting anybody go up. No. But this was fun. Yeah. Something different. And it's breezy now, so that feels good. Yeah. And maybe this little bit of spritzing rain will, you know. Cool it off. Cool it off a bit and cut down on the humidity. Uh, it looks like it is going to blow over, at least, you know, right over Gatlinsburg anyway. The, the rain seems to be more up into the mountains. Oh, it seems to have gone already past. 
you know, yeah. that way. We got a few sprinkles, but, you know, nothing I'll get to that. Nothing to worry about. This looks like the saddest carnival. Well, we've done Gatlinsburg. Yes, we did. It's mostly just t-shirt shops, souvenir shops, places to eat, and then there's three or four different kind of things to do, you know, kind of theme down the mountains with the, you know, like a chairlift or a gondola lift or something like that. And they have other things too. They have Ripley's, believe it or not, they have different uh, areas for that. Yeah, yeah, there's a little of the um, a themed amusement things. Right, miniature golf. Yeah. So, yeah, but a lot of, you know, t-shirt shops, Places to eat, snacks. Yeah, and on a hot day in, uh, you know, summer July. In Tennessee. Yeah, it's pretty warm. Yeah. Good thing it's not real sunny. Exactly. Now exactly. we did have some sprinkles come through, but. And that felt good. Yeah, I mean, she did. The wind picked up a little bit, and it felt a little cooler. Yep. So. For a moment. We shouldn't complain, but. Yeah. yeah. Soon the you know summer round. The east and the north doesn't last real long, so we won't complain. Okay. Okay. Well, shall we head on to something else? Okay. Don't know what, but you'll see it come next, whatever it is. Okay. While we're at Pigeon Ford, we're staying here at Creekside RV Park. It's just outside of the town of Pigeon Ford. Very short drive in there, just a couple traffic lights and you're right into the main drag where all the attractions and restaurants are. The campground is pretty tight. You've got basically a 20 to 30 foot wide uh, site. Um, just a pretty much enough room for your RV and your patio and awning area and just a little bit of grass to the other side before you get to the next RV. Um, fairly tight, but it seems to be Pretty typical for the RV parks in this area. A lot of them we've looked at as you drive by, they're lined in there maximizing the space of the property and trying to get as many RVs in there as we can. Each site includes a concrete patio area which is very nice. We do appreciate having that. It's nice to be able to walk out onto something like that as opposed to gravel or grass. In which case, most cases the grass is dead and it's just dirt. So that is nice. One, my one complaint besides being so tight is the campsite isn't really dog friendly. Now there's a lot of people with dogs and you're allowed to bring your dog here. That's not an issue. What I mean by not dog friendly is that there's really no place for your dogs. There's no place to walk your dogs. You know, you've got the walk around the campground, which is pretty short. You almost have to walk it twice and there's no dog park, there's no green areas that you can go with your dog. So your dog has pretty much got just a little bit of grass that might pop out next to the road or the gravel or whatever to do their business on, which is really not the best. Now yesterday we did take a walk into Pigeon Forge and they do have a community center area with a walking trail. And we took them on the walking trail one afternoon and that was pretty nice. Our campground is pretty small, so we decided to find a local park and came out here to take uh, Monty and Zephyr for a walk. It's kind of nice, nice little creek to walk next to. And a paved path yeah. to walk on. And it's shaded, which is good for a day like today.
How was your walk? It was nice. Nice, um, you know, nice path to walk on. It had some shady areas, or quite a bit of shady area. Yep. And uh, being, you know, more in the evening, it was a little bit cooler. A little bit. Yeah. So. Not cool by any stretch of the imagination. No, but it, it was a nice walk. Yep. Now let's get back to air conditioning. Well, we just rode the Alpine Coaster, and it's sort of like a combination between a bobsled and a roller coaster. What'd you think? It was fun. It it go, yeah, it goes pretty fast. Yeah, the whole ride only takes seven to eight minutes, and most of that's just getting up the hill. That's true. Once you, once you go, once they say, put those lovers down, you're off. Yeah, and you zigzag and spin around circles, and it's pretty quick. Yep, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Very much. Yeah. We'd recommend it if you're in the uh, Pigeon Forge area. There's a whole bunch of different ones around here. Ours is the one we had is the Alpine uh, Coaster on in Pigeon Forge. It's on the outskirts of town, but there's other ones that you could ride too. Yep, and I guess this one is voted the best. Yeah. It was, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. The next morning. Well, what are your thoughts on Creekside RV Park? I thought it was very nice. I mean, it's crowded, it's probably full, but I thought it was, I thought it was very nice and it's convenient. You're not right in the center of Pigeon Forge, you're out a little bit. Right. So that just makes it nicer and it's only a short drive into Pigeon Forge. Yeah. So yeah, I thought it was nice. Did you like Pigeon Forge? Very much. Yeah. Very much. I, you know, I wrote my sister and and to others, I would highly recommend it as a vacation spot. I would recommend Pigeon Forge, staying in Pigeon Forge over staying at Gatlinsburg. Although a visit to Gatlinsburg is very well worth it, but Pigeon Forge has a lot more to offer. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah. All right, well, let's get going. We're all hitched up, ready to go to our next spot. Which is not far away. Right, right. It's just down the road over in Townsend uh, near the National Park. So we're off we go.